Okay, so uh, the topic is uh, anatomical ACL uh, reconstruction. Mm. <clears throat> so I think I'll directly move to the uh, positioning uh, of the patient. Uh, we prefer to uh, position the patient with the leg uh, dangling down, holding down with the leg holder. The opposite limb is in uh, lithotomy positioner. Uh, and I try to uh, keep a small lithotomy uh, positioner uh, above the patient's abdomen so that we can keep your instruments there and they do not fall or uh, hurt the patient. Uh, so once uh, we have positioned the patient, we also need to check whether we are able to get a full flexion, a flexion uh, required for our femoral tunnel drilling and also check once the full patient is uh, fully draped. So uh, after uh, we have uh, positioned the patient, what we do is examine the patient anesthesia to grade the pivot shift test and also to assess other ligaments. So once we have uh, seen that <clears throat> patient has got a pivot shift test, in cases of a very uh, high grade pivot shift test, we need to assess uh, um, posterior roots, uh, ramp lesions or lateral ligamentous uh, injury. So uh, graft harvest and preparation, uh, our preferred graft is usually hamstring, uh, quadrupled semitendinosus. Uh, I prefer a diameter of around 8 millimeter, at least 8 mm uh, of graft. A quadruple length of around uh, 7.5 uh, centimeters. And if I'm, if I'm planning for a distal fixation as a screw, if uh, I find that it is less than 8 or I'm not getting uh, adequate length, then I uh, use a 5 strand graft, uh, triple semitendinosus and uh, double gracilis. The other choices are uh, peroneus longus and BTB as uh, Sarah has already described. So <clears throat> the graft harvest, um, uh, I prefer uh, oblique incision. Here, uh, earlier you used to do a vertical incision. We are using an oblique incision around five centimeters below the joint line, or you can palpate before in a thin lean patient, you are able to palpate uh, uh, hamstring tendons. So once we have done that oblique incision, the tendon which we could palpate or roll down a cylindrical one is a gracilis. Below that is a semitendinosus. We go in between the two and cut sartorius fascia. Uh, fish the, uh, take out the uh, semitendinosus with the uh, mixture and uh, cut off all the vincular and attachments. We try to increase the length of the uh, total length that we have achieved by taking off uh, uh, the periosteum. So around 1, 1. 1.5 centimeters, we can add up by taking off complete periosteum. It also increases the healing. Uh, uh, of uh, the ligament. So once uh, we have uh, harvested the graft, uh, it goes on back table for preparation. We prepare a quadruple graft, tension it and uh, soak it in uh, vancomycin antibiotic and uh, start with our uh, tunneling. So portal placements, uh, we have a routine anterolateral and anteromedial uh, portal, anterolateral viewing portal and anteromedial portal. But most important portal here is an accessory anteromedial portal. The main advantage that we get here uh, by slightly taking this accessory anteromedial portal medially as well as just above the meniscus. So it increases the obliquity of the tunnel. It increases the length of tunnel <clears throat> and it gives a more elliptical uh, aperture which covers most of the native ACL. But uh, uh, when we are making a accessory anteromedial portal, we need to exercise caution when we shift it more medially uh, and assess uh, from inside that it does not hurt. It is not very close to middle femoral condyle cartilage, which may get damaged with, uh, while we are drilling. So the left side picture is of lateral portal uh, viewing. We see, um, we see a side view of uh, femoral footprint. But when we uh, go through a medial portal, we are able to see end on view. We get a complete end on view from uh, accessory anteromedial portal. So uh, the target here is uh, a center of ACL femoral footprint. Uh, if we uh, tend to shift towards more towards AM bundle, it will give a more isometric uh, position, but there will not be a better control of pivot shift. As in, in, if we shift more towards a posterior lateral uh, PL bundle, then it increases in situ forces. It will be less isometric, but it will be give a better pivot shift. So best is uh, in the center of ACL femoral footprint. So how to find the center of femoral footprint? 
one is uh, if we are able to see if it is sub uh, acute and sub acute we will be able to see uh, acl uh, femoral footprint remnant so from uh, there we can go in the center we can uh, do by measuring with acl uh, ruler or uh, referencing from the bony ridges lateral ridge lateral intercondylar ridge and the bifurcate ridge or we can use uh, intra op uh, fluoroscopy so these are the various methods where we can use and go to the center of femoral footprint uh, we can use a quadrant method also uh, femoral tunnel placement we prefer a transmedial portal uh, tunnel placement this can be done by rigid reamers as well as by flexible reamers we use flexible reamers in case of uh, very obese patients wherein we are not able to get a hyperflexion or it is difficult to get so in those cases we tend to use a flexible reamers or it can be done with a outside in technique also so coming to the femoral tunnel placement first we take accessory anteromedial portal we first pass a uh, 80 number spinal needle and see the trajectory where we are to whether we are able to get our tunnel position dilated with a, a scissor or an artery then uh, shave off this fat pad uh, small amount of fat pad around there which will come in uh, our during tunneling and uh, gentle shaving off uh, at that area and then we assess this from uh, accessory anteromedial side so roughly this is around we can see the probably a, looks like a resident's ridge and here the attachment of acl footprint and center may be a bifurcate ridge then you can uh, mark it the position <clears throat> with a cautery or with the uh, you can also use a, a marking owl once we are done with this i use a also use a femoral aimer so that we can fine tune our uh, placement of uh, our uh, femoral tunnel position so there we go it's very close to our position it's probably going slightly more so we can do a fine tuning here when uh, we are putting uh, <clears throat> femoral aimer six or seven size of femoral aimer commonly used once we are done with this once a guide wire is passed i use a 4.5 mm reamer yeah so so once we have drilled uh, the lateral cortex and then we make a of a desired size uh, tunnel is uh, made so and then we uh, further see it from the upper uh, accessory anteromedial portal uh, we have a 2 to 2.5 mm of posterior cortex intact yeah so uh, we have seen this systematic review from uh, james lupovitz in which uh, he has uh, found uh, the center of uh, femoral uh, footprint about uh, if we measure from anterior to posterior the articular margin of the mid lateral femoral condyle medial side is around 43 from the posterior side so we can use this uh, to uh, as a one of the method to identify the femoral footprint so this is like a, a calibrator in which the cautery uh, underwater cautery where the markings are there we measure and then once we have measured the total length we put a mark at the around uh, 40% of that uh, mark we can also use a uh, acl ruler we can measure the total distance from uh, posterior to anterior and then is coming around to be 22 and in between we can mark the uh, position flexible reamers we can use uh, in obese patients it's uh, better to use uh, flexible reamers wherein you are not able to achieve uh, flexion hyperflexion coming to the tibial tunnel <clears throat> tibial tunnel also i prefer at the center of uh, tibial footprint i commonly use a footprint jig so that we keep it at the center 
uh, we prefer fine tuning with serial weaving once we have uh, what we do is we make a pass a guide wire use the smallest one 4.5 reamer and then we can fine tune uh, the uh, with the serial reaming if you want to shift uh, towards medial or anterior so uh, this serial reaming helps us to fine tune our uh, tbl tunnel position so once tbl tunnel is made uh, i prefer to uh, my preferable uh, fixation this is uh, bio screw on the tbl side i prefer to place the guide wire before inserting the graft so the preferred position of placement of guide wire is a posterior and lateral so I place the guide wire first and then uh, the graft is passed on graft fixation femoral side we prefer a fixed loop endo button or an adjustable uh, loop the advantage of the adjustable loop is you can cinch it further after uh, doing a tbl fixation so if you feel it's loose or something then you can fine tune or further adjust from the femoral side as well as it is uh, beneficial in case of small if you are getting a very small tunnel adjustable loops are good on tbl side preference is a bio interference screw or a metal screw Uh, the suture disc or post is only for uh, backup fixation if uh, we are having a short graft or uh, graft is at the mouth of tunnel so i prefer to add a post or a suture disc so in conclusion uh, the anatomic reconstruction of the acl is important center of footprint should be the guide on both femoral and tibial side use of different methods available for localization of footprint should be used and transmedial portal femoral tunnel is a preferred technique thank you